Jesus. Power that will break the yoke. Father, let it come. Father, let it come. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it come to my life. In the name of Jesus, let it come to my life. Power that will break the yoke. Father, let it come to my life. Power that will break the yoke. Father, let it come to my life. Power that will break the yoke. Let it come to my life. In the name of Jesus, let it come, Lord. Power that will break my yoke. I pray for such a power. I need that power, Lord. Let it come. Let it come. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. It is only God's power that can break the yoke. If I want to talk about the yoke, I will, I will, I will tell you about some things that, 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 that I mean, that, 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 uh, uh, um, that I mean, or that could be a yoke in your life. But there is no any other power that can break those yokes or your yoke. But I want you to pray. Father, reveal yourself to me. Some of, I mean, some of you, maybe you have never experienced it to see God. You haven't seen God. Uh, you have not seen Holy Spirit. You have not, you have not, you have not experienced it. You haven't seen Jesus. You have not seen God. You have not seen Holy Spirit. I want you to ask for such a, a, a mercy. Father, let your mercy reveal yourself to me. Is your God, is your Father, if God's mercy reveal God to you, then your yoke will surely be broken. Tell God, you are my God. You are my Father. Let your mercy reveal, you, I mean, reveal yourself to me. I want to, so mama wako mama baben, so mo oda wako mama wako mama bieni, to lo mba dao, to lo run si sope a wuron unio, to lo mde sope o monio, yeah, you are afraid to see him. And that is why his spirit is in us. So I want you to pray. I want you to ask God, Father, let, let your mercy reveal yourself to me. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy reveal yourself to me. Father, let your mercy reveal yourself to me. Father, I need your mercy. I want your mercy to, receive, to reveal you to me. Let your mercy reveal you to me. Let your mercy reveal you to me. Jeki anu refi ome. Oluwa jeki anu refi ome. Jeki anu refi ome. Ni uruko jesu olorun jeki anu efi ome. Oga ugo jeki anu efi ome. Olorun mi jeki anu efi ome. Jeki anu efi ome. Ni uruko jesu oluwa jeki anu efi ome. Olorun mi jeki anu efi ome. Jesu Kristi jeki anu efi ome. Baba mi jeki anu refi omi. Oluwa jeki anu refi omi. You may not know what I'm saying, but by the, by the time you are able to see God, by the time you are able to see Jesus, then you will now see what I'm saying. Jesus can come to you. That is why he, he creates your form to, to be his own child. So from Oloru, jeki anu refi omi. Jeki anu refi omi. Let your mercy reveal yourself to me. 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 Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy reveal yourself to me. Father, let your, in Jesus' name we are free. You may not know the reason why I ask you to pray this prayer. I have, I've been able for, I mean, by the grace of God, I've been able to see God, I mean, many times, Jesus Christ, the angels. There was a time I was on the mountain. I went to pray on the mountain in Nigeria. So as I was praying, Holy Spirit led me that I should leave that, the, I mean, the exact place that I was. Holy Spirit told me to leave that place so that I should go somewhere privately. So. Many people are on the mountain. So when I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit, then I had to leave. So I moved, you know, a bit forward. Then I looked for a place that was a bit, I mean, that was a bit, you know, quiet. Nobody was there. So then I, I, I went there, you know, sat down. Then I was listening to Holy Spirit, what he wants me to do or what he wanted me to do. So Holy Spirit 
then was giving me, you know, all trances of which I was, you know, releasing, saying, and all of a sudden, my God opened my heart. Then I see God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I could, I could see these three beings. They were holding each other like they are together. But I could see three beings. That this, uh, this, what I'm seeing is this is, it is like three people in front of me. And they were saying, this is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus is in, in the middle. God, Father, you know, uh, on the right side jesus followed and the holy spirit was but you could never see the difference they look alike they are the same and as they as i saw them they were moving towards me the 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 the, 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 the road or the path was so narrow that it could not take two or three people so but i didn't know how they would be able to be coming assessing that tiny and narrow path you know what I mean? But they were coming. So I was moving towards them. And within myself, I was thinking, I need to give them a way to go. You know what I mean? I need to give them a, a, a way, I mean, a, I mean, a, a chance to, I mean, a space. And I, so if I had to give them that space, then I had to go into the bush in that vision, in that trance. So, but they, they whisper, they, 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 they wave their hands to me like this. I should not go, I should just go. And they were coming and I was moving towards them. They were coming, I was moving towards them until they end time to my body. God, when I'm praying, if I start Father in the name of Jesus, then I will be listening to Holy Spirit, whatever He wants me to say. And as soon as I, I put myself in the spirit, I will see the angels coming. God coming down. God coming down. I want you to experience it. You ask, it shall be given unto you. That's what the Bible says. You ask. Tell God, if God comes down, if Holy Spirit manifested, if Jesus comes down, what is that joke in your life? Pray this prayer and let me go into the word of God. Tell Jesus, blood of Jesus, take me to Jesus. Blood of Jesus, connect me with the heavenly throne. Blood of Jesus, take me to my Father, my God. I want the blood to connect me. Father, I want to see you. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, let your blood in the name of Jesus take us to you. Let your blood bring down your glory. Let your blood be manifested. Let your blood, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, take us to the truth. Let all these people be sanctified. Let the blood of Jesus wash them and make them whole. Let the blood of Jesus count them worthy. Take them to heaven in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood in Jesus' name we are afraid. That's good. I didn't want you to pray tonight because that was what God told me to pray about. That was what God told me to pray about. I want to pray about the power that break, power that break, that breaks yoke, power that breaks yoke. All this, you know, um, disease, um, infirmity, problem, evil spirit, spiritus band, whatever problem you could see in your life. You may say, I have kidney problem, I have cancer, I have HIV, I have whatever it has been, an issue, a problem, and whatever it is that is not giving you, I mean, that doesn't allow you to have peace, that is averting your life, averting your peace. I call it a yoke, and it has to be removed. Some people have been oppressed. Some people are depressed, especially in all these advanced countries. It, it, it is very, you see people being oppressed and de depressed. You know what I mean? And they will be giving them medication, but the medication has never, it, it doesn't heal. It will just make them to feel better, to feel better. I mean, to, to feel, I mean, to, it will just help them a bit to help their mood. You know what I mean? So, but it will never remove the yoke. The medication will not remove the yoke. It is only God that can remove yoke. I'm reading, my, I want to read my Bible for you. Now, the power that remove yoke, the, 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 the power that can break or remove or destroy yokes, 
is what I'm talking about. And this is the power of God. This is Jesus Christ himself. Okay, what are yokes? Let me start from Nahum, Nahum, uh, chapter one, verse three. I really want you in the spirit to be in the spirit because I want you to be delivered. Many people, many people are giving me testimony that I did. I wasn't there on, on life. Uh, later, I went there to check. Some people will say, oh, when you are on, uh, when you are on live uh, show, I was there listening to your program. Ah, God heal me. God deliver. There is no way God will not heal you. If God is not going to do something, God will not send us to come and do it. So he sent us, and the Bible says he works with us and is establishing, confirming whatever we are saying or doing uh, with his power. So God is always right there with us. You know what I mean? So he will do it, especially when you are able to listen and you are on life like this. Whatever could be your problem, just forget about it. As soon as God manifests, the power of God manifested from heaven, the problem will be solved in Jesus' name. It now depends on your faith. So I pray that may God pray this prayer. Help my faith today. Father, increase my faith to be, to be delivered, to be, to, be, to be liberated. Increase prayer in the name of Jesus. Increase my faith, O Lord. I want my faith to be increased. Increase my faith. Increase our faith, O Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus, increase our faith, O Lord. Father, you are the Lord. Increase our faith. In the name of Jesus, increase our faith. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith, Lord. Father, increase our faith. Father, increase our faith. Increase our faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, increase our faith. Increase, O Lord, we seek that woman. Help my faith, O Lord. We seek that me. Help my faith, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want to read, in Jesus' name we are afraid, the book of Yoruba, Sope Nahum, English, Sope Nahum, Nahum, chapter 1, verse 13. I want to read the English Bible. For now will I break its yoke from off thee, and will burst thy bones in sunder. Let me read from verse 12. Let me read from verse 10. For why they be falling together as stones, and why they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as tumble funny dry. Verse 11. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord, a wicked counselor. Thus says the Lord, though they be quiet and likewise many, yet thus shall they be caught down. When he shall pass through, though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. For now will I break his yoke from off thee, and will burst thy bones in sunder. And will burst thy bones in sunder. Let me go to Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. Genesis 27, 40. Genesis. You will see that sometimes what is, you know, I mean, what is what is tormenting us, what brings poverty sometimes in our life is yours, is yours. So I will read from um, chapter 27, chapter 27, and I will read verse 40, verse 40. Um, this, uh, this is a story about Israel and Jacob. Uh, the boy belongs to a father, and their father asks them to come. I see their father. He, 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 their father, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, aimed or planned to bless the, I mean, the brother, which was Esau. So, but the mother was able to change the according to the will of God, because when they are in their mother's womb, God said He preferred or loved the young, the young one, which was Jacob. And God said he hates or not prevent the senior one for his own reason. He's God. You can't ask him. But he has a reason for everything that he does. You may not know because you don't, You are not in the beginning. Anyway, nothing. So what I'm saying is, so he knows and he has his own reason for that. So anyway, God prevailed to bless the young one. So, and that was the, that was the prophecy. I mean, the, yeah. The, so, but at that particular time, what the brother was doing, you know what I mean? Was I mean, I mean, made his father to be so delighted and happy with him, and he wanted to bless because he was a very strong and you know, uh, and he, according to the Bible, he was very strong. 
you know, and I think he's a lovely man. The other one, Jacob, was a lazy, according to Bob. He, 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 he received he received God's mercy. You know what? So when the dad now asked the brother, which was Esau, to come to go and prepare something for his blessing, to be blessed, the mother heard of it, and the mother instructed the young boy, which was Jacob, to go and brought, I mean, to go and brought things or bring things so that his daddy will be able to bless him. And they make that they did it in the very, well, if God knows about something, people may say it's not right. If God is in it, it is right. So God made it possible for them. And the brother, the young brother, which was Jacob, you know, got the blessing. So it was later when the brother now came and the dad was said, oh, I had been deceived. I didn't know your young ones had, had already got the blessing. So the brother then asked, you can imagine, some people have faith. But ah, as your blessing finished, why? so that means you cannot bless anymore. Can you please just bless me? So his father now said, okay, I will bless you. He said, and he says, I mean, I'm in chapter 27, uh, Genesis. And he so said unto his father, as thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the heart and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. You can imagine, it's a blessing. But there are some facts and blessings that no one can change unless God. And that is what I'm saying. And by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. When thou shalt have, you can imagine, when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from thy neck. With, if that has not been broken, you will be serving it. So that means before you are serving, before you will be serving someone, there must be a yoke on you. You know what I mean? Even if you are serving Jesus Christ, you can't just be doing whatever you like. He, he, he's just, he's, 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 his own yoke is quite different. You are under a direction. You are under a tutor. You are under a, 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 an, instruct, an instructor. You know what I mean? A guardian. So, but the, the devil, the 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 the, 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 the Devil instruction is so hard, and from the beginning to the end, is of no good. It's evil, and if devil, if you, if there is a yoke of, I mean, evil yoke on you, or devil yoke or whatever yoke on you, it is of evil. It is, it, it will be something that is not palatable, not easy, not peaceful, not, 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 not sweet. It would be of a big, you know, oppression, depression and sadness, unhappy, and death. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, let me go a bit more. Let me go a bit more. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 27. Jeremiah 27 verse 12. Jeremiah 27 verse 12. Only for any, uh, any uh, something. This uh, is all about network or something. Jeremiah 27, 12. Jeremiah 27, 12. I want to read, then we'll quickly try and pray. Jeremiah 27, 12. God himself knows that there are a lot of yokes, you know, and God knows that without yokes, we can never, we can never, you know, serve him. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, I mean, as, uh, Yes, Jeremiah 27, 12. Let me read, let me read from my Bible. He says, I speak also to Zedekiah, king of Judah, according to all these words, saying, bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live. You know what I mean? Let me read from, um, let me read from verse nine. Therefore, I cannot ye. You can imagine there was a powerful one that was talking. Can you just imagine? It's not God. And do you know those are the things that our our enemies are saying? The devil is saying that obstacle, that yoke, 
that problem you have in your life, your cancer, your HIV, your, your asthma, whatever, what they are saying is, I will kill you. I will kill. They are not just dead. The wicked one from our background, the evil one, there is no way you will see an enemy that we have a good thought towards you or have a good, no, their thoughts are all evil. It is only God's thought that is of righteousness, of good, of goodness and mercy. Now, there was, let me read from here. Let me read from, um, let me read from seven. From six, and now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the beast of the feet, have I given him also to serve him. And all nations shall serve him, and his son, and his son's sons, his son's son, until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. And it shall come to pass that the nation and kingdom which will not serve the same, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon. That nation will have punished, said the Lord, with the sword and with the famine and with the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand. Therefore, I cannot yea to your prophets, nor to your di uh, diviners, nor to your dreamers, nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, Ye shall not serve the king of Babylon. For the for they prophecy a lie unto you to remove you far from your land, and that I should drive you out, and ye should perish. Imagine that story. It was God Himself that gave them hope because of their sin. And God was telling them, if you think you have any other power or any other source, or you think you have one God somewhere that will deliver you, and you are going up or going up and down, going around, you know, seeking for the, those powers that that you think may help you. If God is angry, instead of you to go to God and ask for his mercy, ask for your forgive, for, for his forgiveness, I'm so bad under his feet to be delivered. But you think you can go to Abalish, you can go to uh, uh, witches and wizard, you can go to any powerful whatever, they, who will deliver you from God in the first place? And that was why he was saying, excuse me, wherever you go to, you can never find them. Some people, they've been going to doctor. Many doctors are trying, they, they can do whatever they, they are trying, they are doing what they can do. But at the same time, they may not be able to pervert it. So there is an higher, greater authority, power that can do all things, which is God. Let me continue with it. And he said, therefore, I cannot hear to your prophets, nor to your diviners, nor to your dreamers, or nor to your enchanters, nor to your sorcerers, which speak unto you, saying, They shall not serve the king of Babylon, because God had given them unto him. For they prophecy allow unto you to remove you far from your land, and that I should drive you out, and ye should perish. But the nations that bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him, those will I let remain still in their own land, said the Lord, and they shall still eat and dwell therein. Verse 12. I speak also to Sedekiah, king of Judah, according to all these words, saying, bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live. Can you imagine? You know what I mean? Let me let me read a bit more. Let me read uh, Leviticus 26, 13. Leviticus 26, 13. We will pray. I will just read like one more. Then I will take you to another place. Then we will pray. I know God will break your yoke today in the name of Jesus. Any yoke, that is working against your prosperity, your blessing, your deliverance, your healing, your health, your position, your upliftment. Any yoke that is working against your marriage, your future, your success, whatever it is, God will destroy them today in the name of Jesus. God will destroy them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me let me read. Yes, Leviticus twenty six thirteen. Leviticus twenty six thirteen. Thank you. And I will destroy you. Yeah, okay. Um, yes, it's on the screen anyway. 2613. Um, Leviticus. Thank you, bro. Sam. Thank you, bro. Sam. Yeah, 13. It says, I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 2613. 
He said, I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should, that ye should not be their bondmen. And I have broken the hands of you, the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright. You can imagine. He says, I am the Lord your God, which brought you out forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen. And I have broken the bands of your yokes and made you go upright. Then let me read the Taronomy. 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 The Taronomy 2848. Taronomy 2848. God will break. I am here to break yoke in the name of Jesus today. And they shall all be broken by the power. In, by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Our 48. I will read now. I will read now. Yeah, 2848. No. 2848. Yes. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Can you imagine? Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in naked. Can you imagine? This is hard. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Can you just imagine? Some people didn't know why God had to send Jesus Christ on, into the world. You know what I mean? And that is why some people are Muslim. Some people are idol worshippers. Some people are worshipping a lot of gods there that they call gods. But you can never see in, in any way, in any gods, what you can see in Jesus Christ. Jesus is all in all. His name is Jesus because he was, he was given that name to save his people from their sin. Tell me the power. Tell me such a religion that can remove all your sin. In every religion, they, they can offer sacrifices to, I mean, to, to, for, I mean, to plead. And it depends on people that they are pleading on to if they, if they wanted to, to I mean, receive the sacrifice. If personally, I was going somewhere, in, long time ago and then I was I saw a sacrifice along on my way to church I was going to church then I saw the sacrifice this evil sacrifice of, I destroyed I was so angry because I was thinking if I have to leave this sacrifice some people that didn't know God will come and this sacrifice will affect them I destroyed I was angry and I destroyed I scattered everything then I went to church and I was expecting that power that was in that sacrifice to come and attack me. There was a such, such man, devil, so evil spirit that came. I rebuked such it. I what the, so the person that put such a sacrifice put it there so that the, his own gods will, will take it to answer his prayer or a prayer. But if, before his God came there, I was there and I destroyed it. Who will destroy your prayers to the most high God? Who can hinder? Who, 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 who are not or in heaven? Who, who, what power could hinder or break or destroy your offering, your, 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 your prayer, your, your offering your prayers to God? No one, not even the devil. You know what I mean? So see what I, we have just read. You could imagine if a yoke is on your neck, it has to be broken. If this, if God knows about this yoke, because sometimes we sin and God will give give us up. If God knows about this yoke, you have to go to God to be removed. If it is devil yokes, you can't. Devil will not even listen. He's not a man that you can go to. A spirit that you can go to and be prayed in. You know what I mean? What you should do is to go to God, the one that creates that devil or created devil, heaven and earth. And God will just say, "Devil, leave him alone." The day of Job. It was devil that convinced God 
you know, to let him deal with Job. And it was given by God, to, uh, Job was given to the devil by God. At a time when Job was able to uphold or to hold on to his faith, then God now looked at and rebuked the devil. Who is that devil that will not go when God is rebuking? There is no, there is no, there, no way. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying now is, <clears throat> if someone is being given up and if there is a yoke somewhere in your life, if you go and see the face of God, your blocks are surely be broken in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, when, when God was giving ministry, a lot of revelation that I had that God gave to me, one of it when he wanted to give me ministry, apart from when he wanted to give me church, there was another revelation. But he first gave me ministry before he gave me church. So my um, church is under my ministry. You may not be part of my church. You can still be under my ministry. It's a big difference there. I'm not saying you can't be part of our church. Being, coming to be part of us is being one body. But I'm just saying, when I received the ministry, God gave me Act of Apostles chapter 10. And I will read Act of Apostles chapter 10. We don't have to. It's, 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 it's hard. Let me read Act of Apostles chapter 10. And we will pray. Now, so the only thing that breaks you is God's power, God's anointing. And I will pray with you with the power of God. And your 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 yokes shall surely be break. They will all be broken. God will break them in the name of Jesus. I want to see that yoke that will that will be that want to push forward. It's just that we don't have time, but I've told you whenever we finish, please continue in such a mood, in such, I mean in, in prayers. And you will see the hand of God, the power of God manifested and destroy your use. Let me read. I'm reading uh, Acts of Apostles chapter 10. Acts of Apostles chapter 10. I want to read from, I want to read from um, verse 30. He said, and Cornelius said, four days ago I was fasting until this hour. And at that ninth hour I prayed. <clears throat> and behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. And said, Cornelius, thy prayer is hard, and thy homes are hard in remembrance in the sight of God. Send therefore to Joppa and call either Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside, who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. Yeah, um, shall speak unto thee. Verse 33. He now said, immediately. Therefore, I sent to thee, and thou hast well done that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before God to hear all things that are commanded thee of God? Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, he that feareth him and walketh to righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. That's the only way to have peace anyway. I, he is Lord of all. 37. That's what I say ye no, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. First 38. When God was giving me ministry, that was God told me. He came to my, my dream and told me. He said, I have empowered you. And he, he said this to me. Verse 13, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil? For God was with him. You know, the deep, I do tell people, we, we, we may all be called by God. Yes, it's, it's one God that called all of us. But what makes us different is the ministry, you know, committed into our hands. So the mini, your ministry will now determine the anointing you are carrying. Don't say, hey, I'm called, I'm called. I can do all things. You should understand your ministry. Your ministry will now your ministry will determine the anointing you are carrying. Your anointing will determine your ministry. You can't do all things, or else you will try and do everything. At the same time, nothing will come out of it. 
So, although we do believe uh, uh, for us who are being called, Jesus has promised to be with you. Excuse me. Yes, he's with you, but he has a certain assignment that you have been assigned to be doing. He has a certain assignment for each individual and he gives them, look at all the 12 apostles. <clears throat> They were all baptized, they all received power, but they are not doing the same thing. Their ministry is very different. If you read out our post after six, they separated some for a specific, you know, ministry. That is how it is. That is why it's good to know God and to have God. You don't just go to Bible, you go to Bible school to study Bible. It's good to go to Bible school to study Bible to know Bible. It's like you go to school to study. You know what I mean? When you study, when you want to do the work of God, you must be called when you are God, you will have many testimony. Before Moses could be sent to the Israelites, let me tell you, he had an, he had an encounter with God. And that he could, he could never forget that vision, that revelation. When he's facing any issue, he will remember that that God had revealed himself to me in the wilderness. Who have ever, who have never, a kind of God I have never seen in my life. When God was calling me, he revealed, many, he revealed himself to me. That, and that is my testimony till now. That is my boldness till now. That is my strength till now. Because of his promise, of his revelations, because of his power, because of his manifestation, because of his, 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 his secret that has been given unto us. You know what I mean? So Jesus was empowered with the Holy Ghost and power to deliver people that have been oppressed, people that are under yokes, people that have problems. That is, the, you can compare Jesus. We know we have, we, we were able to serve all before we come to know Jesus. You can compare. In Jesus, there is nothing. There is nothing God cannot do through Jesus to deliver you. So it depends on the anointing someone is carrying. I'm not talking about people that 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 that, that, that have born to 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 inquire of, of of the deep. I mean, devil that have that have joined many secret something to, because they, they they don't know what they are doing. They think they want power. What kind of power you want to receive from devil? What kind of power you want to receive from 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 idol? What kind of power you go to someone that has power? I mean, God that has all power. It's only through Jesus that all powers have been declared. So what could help you is all powers. It's God. It's Jesus Christ. Nothing else. You know, we know what we are saying because we have encountered, we, have, we had an encounter with God and we've seen a lot and we have applied, we have used this and it has it's been working. And when God speaks to me today that do this and pray with people, I know he's, he's ready to do something. He empowered us to deliver. He gave us his spirit and power. It's not about reading the Bible and just go out there. No, God will talk to you. God will reveal himself to you. God will now say, go and do. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, the only thing that breaks yours is not meditation. It's not your wisdom. It's not an idol. It's not witchcraft spirit. It's not uh, uh, witches or wizard. It's not any power. The only thing that breaks, do you know sometimes, you you go for a help that you want help. You want these people to help you. You want people to help you. They will they will have that mind to help you, but the yokes on you, those yokes on you will not let it happen. Their power, some the power that brought you down, that put you under is uh, under his bondage, that put you in bondage is a spirit. He is a power. He is an oppressor. Is, is, is. So he will go, even if anybody wants to help you, he will go and disturb them and hinder them. He will not let it happen. There was a brother, it's, it's, like, it's like a son to me. He's so good, you believe, you might be listening to this as well. He was so good and he was with me when it was very hard. And of, of this reason, he needs to be helped, you know, for something. And this is a this is someone that I loved. I, he, 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 he has married. He's, 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 a, he's a man of, of, of himself, but he needs something of this reason. Whenever I think of it to do, something will be stopped. Whenever I think of it to do, something, then uh -uh. they came to a time, then I said, uh -uh. I need to check myself. What is happening? Then I know there is power that doesn't want you to be done. 
then I, 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 I faced that power. It was later than I saw myself in Revelation that I was able to give it to him. And that was when it, it, is, when it was done. So you will be blaming people that couldn't help you. Some wife will be blaming their husband. Why don't you give me child? Give me children. Some wife will be blaming the husband. Why couldn't you be? Why don't you have money? Why can't you take care of me? There, are, there, are, there is a yoke that has to be broken. What is blocking you to have that good husband? is a yoke. What is blocking you to have children? is a yoke. What is blocking you to have money? is a yoke. What is blocking or hindering you to have good job? is a yoke. What, what has taken you to where you are today to be tormented, to be, to, to be, to be, to be, I mean, to be punishing. Some people are doing the kind of job that they are doing, that they, they, the kind of job they are doing has never made them happy. It's not what they're supposed to be doing, but there is a yoke that is tormenting them, a yoke that is in charge of their life, a yoke that is that has been put upon them, that is blocking their blessing. I want you to pray today. I can't finish today. I have many things to say. We may proceed next week. We may continue if Jesus died. But the one you have had today, I want you to pray. Pray this prayer. Thank you. Can you just imagine? God's hand is here already. I can see the hands of God. It has come down to release you. Pray this prayer. Oh my God. Do you know, do you see, do you know that I could see some enemies, they are, they are very, very angry now because they know you will be delivered. In their darkness now, they are, they, 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 they are being troubled. They are, they, 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 they the, the, their brain is scattering. It's, they, are, they are disorganized now because they are, pray this prayer. Tell Jesus of Nazareth. If you don't know him, you pray. He sent me. There was a day he, he showed himself to me on the cross of Calvary. And they, they nailed, he they, they was there being nailed by people, being beaten. And he, he, he said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. And I said, Daddy, they know what they are doing. Why wouldn't they do it to themselves? He said, I brought you here to witness my death. And I will resurrect to, to the day, I mean, on, on, mm. on the third day. And I will show myself to you again. So that whoever that comes to you, tell them that I died for their sin, that you witnessed it, and that I have resurrected, that you have witnessed it. Whoever that believes that shall surely be delivered. You will be delivered today. Pray this prayer. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I will see a yoke in, or, or, or upon my life, in my life. Let your blood and your power break that yoke. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. That, that yoke of disease, that yoke of poverty, that yoke of evil spirit, that yoke of spirit husband or, or spirit wife, that yoke of, of, of evil that has been in their life, break it with your blood. Break it with your power. The yoke that is blocking, the yoke that is blocking their blessing, the yoke that is affecting their, the, the, their independence, that is affecting their freedom, that yoke that is misleading their life, the yoke that has never allowed them to be free. Father, break it in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, break down such a yoke. Break such a yoke. the blood of Jesus. Break that yoke that is oppressing my life. Break that yoke that is tormenting my life. Whatever yoke it is, cancer, HIV, asthma, I mean, I blood pressure, whatever it is, break it in the name of in Jesus' name. We are afraid. There was a time uh, my church member, she was a lady, she came to me. Her mom was so the bit. She was an old woman. And this woman was brought from village to their church, to uh, the family. They, they, in their family, they have a big church. And they prayed. And this woman had to be admitted in the hospital, UCH. And still, the problem was still there. And this young lady then tell them, can I invite my pastor, my pastor, Ladele? If he comes and pray with you, you will be delivered. So they were, at the end, they said, okay, call your pastor. Then I got there. I saw this old woman. When I saw this old woman, then I pray. So as I was praying, 
Do you know what causes all this blood pressure, whatever? What devil did was he put dust in, in, in our blood. He put dust, saw dust in our blood. And I could see a little rat running up, up and down in our body. So God has given me the word. I released the word. While I was releasing the word, people that were there were shaking. But from people who are, I didn't touch anybody, when the word comes, is it not your creator? When the word comes, there will be a, it has to be. You know what happened? Then I rebuke, I just rebuke, I, I send the blood of Jesus into that blood, into that mama's vein and blood. Then I rebuke that right. God is so powerful and good. The mama, that mama was, was healed and delivered. Mama now said, I'm not going back to the village. I want to be staying with this pastor, living with what what, 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 what is there that God cannot do? But it's not if it is not been, if it has not been done, because you don't take it serious, or because you don't know God, or because you don't, yeah. or maybe you don't pray well. You don't pray well. Or maybe you haven't got, you haven't, you haven't, you, the word that we hear you has not come to you. The anointing that we hear you has not been, has not been sent. You pray this prayer. And I, and I know God will do something. Pray this prayer and tell God, Father, let thy power, Jesus, come with your power to break my yoke. Whatever yoke in my life, it could be kidney problem. It could be liver problem. It could be, a, what, it could be corona. Whatever it is, you pray. Let your power, your power come down from heaven and break my yoke. This yoke that has never been, Father, prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your power come down and break my yoke. Any yoke of, of disease, any yoke of death, any yoke of sickness, any yoke of poverty, whatever yoke in my life that is being placed there, uh... Father, let your power. Let your power break such a yoke. Let your power break such a yoke. Power of God, break my yoke. Break my yoke. Whatever yoke that has been put upon my life that will kill me. Whatever yoke that put me in bondage. Let your blood break such a yoke. In the name of Jesus, power. Let Jesus come with your power to break my yoke. 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 Come with your power. That yoke that subdued me, that yoke that subdued my life, that, 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 that has humiliated my life, that has brought me down. Let your power in the name of Jesus break such a yoke. Blood of Jesus, break my yoke, break my yoke, break my yoke. Whatever yoke in my life, it could be heart problem. It could be whatever. It could be kidney, it could be liver, it could be whatever it is. Father, break it. Any evil in Jesus' name, we are afraid. There are some evil bonds in some people's life. I want you to break against it. Could be from your mother, it could be from your background, it could be from your father, it could be from anybody. But what you need is Jesus. If Jesus comes down today, your, your it the bond will be destroyed. Tell God every evil bond in my life, Father, destroy it with your blood. I want your power to come and destroy it. every evil bond. Father, destroy with your power. Destroy with your prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, destroy every evil bond in my life. Every evil bond. Every evil yoke. Father, destroy it with your blood. Destroy it with your power. Destroy it with your blood. Destroy it with your power. In the name of Jesus. Oluwa, get here again. Get go, get go, boy. The today, me might be. In Jesus' name, we are afraid. There was a time I was invited to pray for some for, for some people in, I mean, for, for a church. They said when they whenever they sleep in that church, they will be having bad dreams. They prayed, prayed, prayed. When I was invited and I got to the place, as soon as I released the word of God and I started praying, then I was praying. Then you do see what? Then I saw one demon quickly and said, "Please, please, please, wait, 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 wait. Let me let, let us take our bond. Let us." And they did the floor and they took that thing. It's like a chain or something, evil chain, black and red. It was devil knows what he does. He was under the ground. They covered it. So whoever that sleeps there, they will be having bad, bad dreams. What is that evil, evil plantation in your life that has connected you with the devil? That has connected you with the demon. That has connected you with spirit husband and, and spirit wife. What is that evil, 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 evil bond or evil plantation or evil seed? Pray this prayer. Every evil seed in my life, 
that has connected me with the darkness, with the evil one, with the demon, with the wicked one, with any evil power, wherever they are, whatever, whoever they are, <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, let your fire in the name of Jesus consume salt and evil, 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 evil seed, evil plantation, evil bond in my life. Let your blood and your fire consume and destroy. Prayer in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, every evil seed in our life, in this people's life, every evil seed that has connected, or every evil seed that has connected your people with the demon, with the evil one, Father, in the name of Jesus, destroy it, O oh Lord. Destroy every evil bond. Destroy it in the name of Jesus. Destroy it, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every evil, every evil seed, every evil bond. Destroy it. Oluwa, jake jati agarare, luru ko Jesu bisi. Jeko, jeko parun. Go, go, irugmi esu. Irugmi okun koni no ayemi. To so mi po mo okun koni. To so mi po me esu. To so mi po ma ye. To so mi po ma mo eni bi. To so mi po mo iku. To, to, to ka mi ma wan ti wan pa. To ka mi ma, to, to fi bisi no ayemi. Jeke jati ne ko jodam. Jeke jati ne ko jodam. Go, go, irugmi esu. Irugmi okun koni. Irugmi a ye. E jati no lor ma do. Ma jo, ma jo, bo bo irubi ti a ye gbe si no a ye mi. La ti so mi di eran, 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 eran ti a pa ye. Every evil seed that has been planted wrongly, that has been planted in my life to destroy me, to torment me, to afflict me. Father, destroy it. Locate it and destroy it with your fire, with your blood. In the name of Jesus, Father, destroy it. Father, Oluwa, mu owa ye ku o lara mi. Oluwa, mu owa okunkun ku o lara mi. Oluwa mu kuro, Oluwa mu kuro, owo ibi Oluwa mu kuro, owo isu, owo orisa, owo aye, owo eni bi. Oluwa mu, Oluwa mu, Oluwa mu, Oluwa mu, Oluwa mu, mu kuro. Father, remove the wicked, the wicked hands of from of, I mean from my life. Remove it, O Lord. Every wicked hand, every evil, evil hand, Father, remove it. More where any be poor, more just for you, our suffering alone. I got got to move me soon. I got to tell him back. I got got to do it. I am a good one. Oh, you are here. Get a gallon. He said, I got to more door. Who for me? Hello, my dear. What's my fear? I said, I yet your pa. My dear, my best your job. Mwaf, hai sami, hai ta gami, mwaf, fi sonu a ye yon. A ti ni nto bodo je, a ti ni nto bodo mu, o lo mi ni ra. O lo ron da waka lo mi ni ra. You are created to have freedom. Some people in this life, they have a limitation of what they could do, or what they could eat, of what they could do, of what they could. Mo wani, I had a family. They want, I mean, there was a family I knew. They wanted to go for a ceremony in their, in their, in their, in their town. And it was it was revealed that they should not go because they will kill them. They said they are waiting for Pastor Laden. When they saw me, they said, Daddy, pray. When I pray, I could see the evil plans ahead. Then I tell them, Me, I will never, I have never surrendered to the devil. I said, We will go. There is no evil that they want to play, they have planned evil, but I will be with you. These people said, Daddy, that means, that means you'll be in the car. I, said, I will be in your car. We left from Lagos to, I don't want to mention that state. You know what I mean? We went there. They tried their possible best. God defeated them. There is no one that can withstand God's power. No any power is above God's power. It is only when you are serving all these little, little, and we play, little, little demons and little, little powers that they will be telling you that you, are, you must not go. You must not do. If you are serving the greatest, if you are serving the most high God, what power would be able to hinder you? Bibeli, only we shall we, we shall trample on, on, on snakes. Oma take moleni. You will walk over them. There was a time I was fighting to, to, to receive my inheritance. As I was going to the flag, I, I went there to declare war in God though, because I was led by God. They used their power, then I used I went there. They came again. There was a day I was going back there. They sent snakes physically to meet me. There was a brother that used to live in that uh, village. He remember, he said, Pastor, Pastor Snake. I said, Snake. So they want to send snake to me to send me back. I want to, I want, you know, to that snake. I killed that snake with my shoe. I was so, I was so angry. 
When I go into the village, I went to that evil woman that was fighting. I said, you send snake so I won't come inside. Inside my own inheritance, my own property, my father's village. Who are they? God destroy them. If you are served in a little power, devil will have power over you. When your power is not up to the power that is afflicting you, that is waging war against you, then you will be subdued and surrendered. But when you are serving the most high God, who is that powerful one? What kind of sickness it is that God cannot heal and destroy? Pray the last prayer because I don't have time. You tell God, Father, every evil hand upon my life, upon my life, every evil yoke, what it be, I got guy be, Oh, it could be. There, there are some people have told you they have a limitation of what they could eat. They have a limitation of what they could drink. They have a limitation. They, some people knew that this thing that is that is affecting me it, it, it can termin, will terminate my life. In this country, in, in, in this advanced country, they will tell them, you have six months to live. You have one month to live. You have six weeks to live. Why wouldn't you run to God? The ass that, that, that owns your life. God that, that, that creates you. And it told you, I will continue in this passage in next week. But pray, pray this prayer. You tell God, Father, you are the Lord, you are God. I've given my life to you. This man has been saying, he has been seeing Jesus, that you empower, you anointed him to, 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 to deliver people. Father, in the name of Jesus, come down. Ask Jesus to, he will come. It's your daddy, it's your, he can't do without you. When you love him, he loves you. He's doing nothing in heaven but for your sake. He's at the right, at right hand of God, kneeling. The Bible says he's on his knees, at the right hand of God, pleading on your behalf. So then what could be your fear? When you have your father at your back, who is that, power, who is that powerful one? Pray this prayer. You tell God, Jesus, come down now to destroy that yoke upon me. Whatever yoke, I want to be free. I want to be delivered. Destroy such prayer in the name of Jesus. Oluwa so kale wa loru ko Jesu ko ja jaga orun mi ajaga aye mi so kale wa so kale ajaga ti be laye awon eyan yi ajaga ti Jesu fi sibe ajaga ti okunkun fi sibe ajaga ti iku fi sibe ajaga ti ota fi sibe Oluwa so kale wa ko ja jaga yi so kale wa ko ja jaga yi ja jaga eniyan ja jaga aye ja jaga Jesu ja jaga okunkun ja yeah, oh, do I jadan? Can you imagine? I could see the angel of God coming down for your own good, for your own sake. Father, come down and destroy such an, 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 an evil yoke. Oh, do I die? 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 Do you know the voice I had now? Holy Spirit was telling me that the angel you saw, he has come to start to do something. And it will take him time. Tell these people to continue in that prayer. If they really want the yoke to be broken, the angel has been sent. A messenger has been sent, you know, to carry out this, you know, oppression. But you, you need to give him time. Continue with this prayer. If I were you, I will continue until we see. And you will have a testimony. Have time for yourself. Don't, I mean, you yourself, create time for God. How if you don't create time for me? How can he come to your life and walk? You be in here to know who I say. And so go on there. Go talk with one. You say talk like a lot. No, she make it fun. If you have time for God, God will come to your life and walk there and 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 and, and do something. Pray this prayer. Tell God. Tell Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, let your power in the name of Jesus set me free. Let your power deliver me from my yokes. Let your power deliver. There was a day, it was a long time ago, I woke up in the morning. And God said, I should leave my room and go to the other room and be praying. And I was told to pray. I was praying. I was asking God, where should I come at? He said, until 3 p.m. At, at that particular time, as I, as I wanted to come out of that room, then I was hearing, please, oh, help us, oh, help us. And people were running after I me. Mean, there, there was a woman that was carrying a child. And people are running up and down with this woman, and they didn't have any help. And this woman ran, this woman ran to one old woman. She didn't know that the woman she even ran to was, I mean, I mean, was possessed. That was money. Again, he told her back. He had no quick kill her by wow, her by wow. Then God said, That was why I said you should be praised this morning. Call them to bring that child. Then I came out, I said, Then I saw the old beast witchcraft, I mean. The, the witches and whoever that, and he, the woman knew, he, she knew that I know her. 
I look at her and say, why are you shouting the Egbawa? What do you want to do with all this now? Can you please go back? Then I asked the woman that was telling it, I said, come inside my house. The woman came, then I closed the door. So I said, who come with you? He said this, I said, those that come with you from your house, yeah, they, they can come with you. But every other people that was running, I want my money, 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 I want my then I said, Father, what do you want me to do? God said, hold the child and let your hand be moving up and down. I want to read it. That was how the boy came up. And what can, what, I don't know what God cannot do, but when you do not have time for God, when you do not believe towards it, when you believe your faith is not up to that miracle, instead of you to continue praying and tell God to increase your faith, if, if there is a problem in your life, why wouldn't you go back to God and Father, increase my faith to be healed for such a, a, a disease, for such a destroyer, for such a problem, can you just imagine? I could see the lion of Judah now. I was asking, why was he a lion? He said, to fight, to fight, to fight and destroy the enemies. That is God for you. Now pray this prayer. Father, come and destroy my destroyer. Your destroyer could be cancer, your destroyer could be kidney problem, your destroyer could be corona, your destroyer could be witches and wizards, your destroyer could be darkness, it could be devil, it could be death. Call God, come and destroy my papi, didn't die a Come and destroy my prayer in the name of Jesus. And it told me, and it took me, and it told me, and it took 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 me, Olori aye o eni to da awon agbara eni to nsa ko so gbogbo agbara to da eni to ni agbara lorun ati laye eni to da gbogbo tin gbe agbara ti o se da je gbogbo tin gbe agbara ni oruko Jesu Christ o duwe so kale wa lati pa pa ni run mi run e wa pa pa ni run mi run a pa ni run aye mi tin be ninu eda mi a pa ni run aye mi tin be lori ise mi a pa ni run aye mi tin be ni bi ta ti bi mi o duwa wa pa won Come and destroy my destroyer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, come from heaven and destroy my destroyer in the name of Jesus. Destroy my destroyer and deliver me. Destroy my destroyer in Jesus' name we are afraid. It doesn't take God mean, I mean, within the thinking of an eye, we come down. There was a time I have an in-law that came to visit us and she was about to go back. And she was waiting for me. You know, some people have faith in some, in some, in some people. She was waiting for me, and the, the work I was doing, I had to come back in the night. So I came around 12 or 1 in the night, and this woman was still waiting. I died. Pastor, I was waiting for you to pray for me because I'm going to Nigeria early this morning. Then as soon as I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I was praying, then I could see blood everywhere. Then I said, well, why was this blood? Then God said, His, our plane is going to, 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 our plane is going to crash. Then I asked Holy Spirit, then I, I said, I told the woman, I saw blood. Then the woman said, Pastor, so, so maybe I shouldn't go again. I said, well, you bought the ticket. You are going in, in two, three hours to this time. Uh, he said, Pastor, uh, maybe I should know. I said, you are going. And then I said, Holy Spirit was right. He said, call God to come. Then I said, I was calling my God. Then I saw my God, my father, he said of this. Then she, she, he got up from the throne and he was coming to our direction. Then I said, God has come and God will. When I finish up, I say you are going. Nothing will happen to you, but it will. It will. You will see. You will see it happening. What I mean, you will see it coming, but God will stop it. Then he said, "Okay, if it happens, what should I say?" Then I he asked for the word. I gave her the word. Then she left. As soon as she left, early in the morning, God said, "Don't sleep in your bedroom. Go to the next room and be on your knee and continue praying." Sometimes your prayer is not enough. That's why it's good to be in the spirit. Some people will be praying and they will be thinking of, hey, the Bible says, whatever we have asked. The Bible says it. As the Spirit of God, when you are praying, have you heard from the Spirit of God? Was there a green light? Was there a manifestation? That is why Jesus will not do anything unless he's been taught. He's been told. He will say, whatever you see me, I'm doing. I do it when my Father in heaven has done it finished. He's always in the Spirit to see God, to know if it is done or not. So some of you, you will pray a bit because you are lazy, because you are not in the spirit. You will say, God has answered. Yes, it's good to have faith. But faith that has no work is, 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 is dead. 
igbagbo ti o ni se oku ni to ba gbagbo ise gbodo pelu e ise na ni pe ki esi ohun olorun se ise to ye ko se listen to god and act on his instruction that's if that is the, the works that that goes with the faith then god told me you've prayed fine but as soon as he has left as soon as he's leaving go to that room and be pray until i until until i told you it's perfect then i was i, I lay down on, on the floor and i was praying i until god said yes i've done it perfectly do you know when they were in the plane when they have even got to nigeria the problem started and they were all crying will people some people that will be calling Muhammad, people will be calling Uri Baba Amil, people that will be, that were calling Jesus. This woman said, Oh Father, but you've you, you, you have revealed to yourself and, and he has told me and he told me that you have taken control and he was telling people just be calling him and God to control. As soon as as soon as they have plane landed, as soon as she, she was able to put her feet on the floor, on the ground, the first thing she did is to call her brother and say, pastor, pa, pastor, pasto, he happened. But God saved us. That is God I'm talking about. If anything comes against you, if you call upon God, God will come instantly to do something. Call upon him. Continue calling until your miracle is done. Pray this last prayer. We may continue. We shall continue by God's grace next week. Tell God, Father, in the name of Jesus, come and intervene into my situation. Come down with your power to deliver me. Let your mercy deliver me. Let your prayer in the name of Jesus. And that's the last one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I can see God working. I can see Holy Spirit at work. I can see the angels. Can you imagine? Not even only one angel now. I could see many angels on the field. God has come to heal you. Father has sent his angels to deliver you. The, 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 that yoke has been tampered with with God. God has started to, he has started to remove your yokes. Pray that prayer. Father, come down. Father, I've given them your word. Father, I've revealed yourself to, I've, I've, thank you, Lord Jesus. God is at work. God will break that yoke. God will break that link. God will break that evil link. God will break that evil yoke. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, break the yoke of death. Break the yoke of poverty. Break the yoke of disease. In the name of Jesus. Break the yoke of loneliness. Break the yoke of barrenness. Break the yoke of, 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 of death. In the name of Jesus. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let me pray with you. Put your hands, put one hand on your head and raise the other one up. In, put the left hand on your head, raise your right hand up now. Bag a gals in my yapur was you what? Any to down bobo, any close or thing game, mini. Only a year, I look for a lag dar and low. A lag dar at top four. Any to get to see Tayo, Baba mew, any to toy me one eco call me, any to one me was ya ye me. Talk pay me to see a minister to see fit for me, only of that you are at Kiki peke a yele ni dande lo se fomo rubo. Kiki peke a yele boni nui gagagati ide. Lo se fe mi omo se bofun eche. Kiki peke a yele di o minira. Lo se fe e mi a ti e di omo re. Lo fi se rubo lori a ye. Baba a mi o. It was it not because of your people deliverance that you offered the only begotten son Jesus Christ. You offered his soul, his, 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 his life and his blood. For the sake of your people to be delivered, was it not because of the, 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 the divine love that you have towards them? Baba, I pray. Father, I pray. And I ask for your mercy to come down again. These people are in, they, they are in bondage. Devil have owned, devil has owned them. The, the, the evil spirit, the wicked one of the world, they have owned their life. They have captured them. They are in bondage. Daddy, I pray. You that reveal yourself to me. You that took me to heaven and I saw you on the throne. Jesus that came to me. You that gave me the word. You that I saw <coughs> on the throne. 
that revealed yourself to me and told me that whoever that listened to such a great message, that you died for them and you are you resurrected for them, shall surely be delivered. It is you who spoke to me, who talked to me, who revealed himself to me. It is you I'm calling to come down and remove such a yoke in the name of Jesus. now from their darkness from their kingdom from their throne in the name of Jesus thank you lord jesus akon eleru mo ritin lo si waju e olorun mo de ile ni yo mo de ile leri lo ton ona re se mo fi bu loni gbogbo iku ojiji mo ba wi mo fi obu eni to ba mi soro lo so be pe nfi obu iku ojiji mo fi obu loruko jesu ako pe nba gbagbo orin ko ja bo sinu iye ni ako pe jesu be iku mi ni isegun toro toro iku oro ibi be ni pe iku oro ra da isaku isegun re nko mo ba owi agbara iku ni oruko jesu christ gbogbo gbogbo iku ojiji e pa run dan ki mole ki o wa ako pe ni naftali ma ti ni ni sebuloni ni ona oku ni o ke gboda ni galile awon keferi awon to wa lo gbogbo ri imole awon to wa la be ide iku ni imole la da fun ni oruko nla jesu christ gbogbo ipinu iku ko di asan loni mo gbadura fun awon ewe o mo gbadura fun awon omode emi mo loruko jesu ko gbadura fun gbogbo irokati ota lori awon omo lori awon ewe ni oruko jesu ko di asan tori ako wi pe yes oni e ki esa lo do omode won yi oni tori gbogbo gbalange ni baba won be pelu won to mu oju won to si mu oju olodun pe eni ke ni ti o ba mu okan ninu awon omode ikose o so ke ma bi ju ki a so lomo olodun ka so si mu okun lo lenu omo wa ati omo mu a ko pe olodun se ilana agbara ati gbesan lara ota ro gba ke je ni a ko wi pe lenu awon omo de la ti mu yin mi pe bibili pe o gbe won li ese o sure fun won o ba won wi ni tori ti won be ni mo ba ogun esu wi lori omo de mo ba ogun aye wi lori awon omo mo fi okun fun ati ota nbu e gbe ni fun ni ti mele da re ja bibili pe eni to ba je ti rara ni e rara won ni won je ni ageje to ba je ti ejeje won ni won mu ri amuyo bibili pe olorun lu ota mi ni edugun ere ke o ke yin awon eyan buburu igba ti a bi nuku sumo won lati je rara won won ko se won subu eni ba lu won pa omo olorun yo pa run whoever that plans to kill your children shall be destroyed whatever power that is against the children i rebuke them as a far from the holy spirit 
the spirit of God will raise up a standard against them. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. I could see God telling me it is done. God has done it. You, oh my God. I could see an evil power that was holding someone's heart. But God is broken their hands now. You are, you are delivered. We don't have time. I don't want to take much of your time. Continue in such a great move and you shall see God. The light of God has come. You shall, you shall surely be delivered. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Thank you for patronizing for your contribution. Thank you for always being there. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a privilege to have you people around. God will help us and God will bless you. Thank you for always following our platform and ministry. God will surprise you in the name of Jesus. Yes, instead of sudden death, you will see a sudden blessing in the name of Jesus. Sudden promotion, sudden gift. support we shall get there in the name of jesus it is well with you thank you bye bye